Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Welcome to the Firmware Update YouTube channel. Apparently this is what we do on this channel now is firmware updates because there's been three or four and there's one more coming after this one uh, in the past two weeks. So this is for the G106 and this is gonna be how to update the firmware on the G106 on Windows. So let's get over to our Windows machine and Windows, because you know I love Windows. This is running on Windows 7, and there isn't any reason why this wouldn't work on any other version of Windows. I just happen to like anything before Windows 8. When you go to the first website, cqzygu.com, to download the firmware, it's going to show up in a language that we don't understand over here. But, never fear, there is a drop-down box over here where you can pick the language of English, and this whole site becomes a lot more readable once you do that. Now that we can read it, we click on Download, and this gives us all of the downloads. And across the top of the table, there is G106 Data Download. We have the G106 User Manual version 1.4, we have the firmware version 1.2b03, we have the firmware version 1.2b02en. That en stands for English. This one that's 03 is not in English. I don't know how much that matters, but we'll find out in a different video. This one is just how to do it, so we're going to pick the tried and true English version of 1.2b02. I'm guessing that b stands for beta, because we're all beta testers for Zygu. So you want to download that. The other thing that you want to download is the firmware update guide just so you have it for reference. Just download it, save it off in the same folder, and don't ever open it up because I am gonna show you how to do it right now. And it has downloaded and completed. Here is the RAR Labs website. This will be the download for the WinRAR Archiver. And I wanna download the latest version. Oh, it's buried in there. English, 64-bit. And we'll run that. That's a good enough place to install it. Attach it to all the things. All right, now we've got WinRAR installed, which means we can act on this download we just did. So I'm gonna double click on the Zygu G106 firmware file that we downloaded, and inside you're going to see two files. One is the release notes, and if we click on view, it says improved speech intelligibility. There are a couple of firmware releases before this, and there's one after this that's in Chinese. Stay tuned to the channel for some information on what's actually in the firmware updates. This video is just gonna be about how to do the update itself. So. Sometimes there's also a couple of hidden things inside the firmware that we'll uncover later on, like improved speech intelligibility is not really enough of a reason to release a firmware update, so there's, there's got to be something else going on there. That's inside the readme file. I'm going to take the firmware file itself and I'm going to drag it over to the desktop. I've already done that, so it's sitting there for me. That is taken care of. The next thing we're going to need is TerraTerm. So let me go show you where to get TerraTerm from. Okay, this big long URL here is where you go to get the download. It will be linked in the description so you don't need to type it in. I'm going to download the TerraTerm zip file and we'll use WinRAR to extract that. Let's go take a look. So I double clicked on the zip file for TerraTerm that I downloaded and it has a folder inside of it called TerraTerm 4.106. This actually has the portable executable inside of it for Windows. There's really no install needed. I'm gonna drag this to the desktop of the machine. Feel free to place this wherever you want. Just make a note of where you put it. I'm gonna close out of WinRAR and I'm gonna close out of my downloads folder because I don't need either of those two anymore. I'm going to go into the TerraTerm folder and this is already sorted by type of application and you'll see TTerm Pro. I'm gonna launch TerraTerm Pro and right now I don't have any serial ports installed because I have not plugged in my cable. You're gonna to need to get one of these cables and I will leave a link in the description down below for uh, BD7 Maple on eBay where you can pick up one of these cables. They're like 20 bucks free shipping from China so it'll take a minute to get here. BD7 Maple's a fantastic eBay seller. I've done plenty of business with them before. And this is the same cable that you get with your G90 or your XPA125 or other uh, Zygu devices that have this on one end and this on the other. This is an FTDI chip inside of the USB header and the plug that you need to plug into the back of the radio. On the back of the G106, this goes into the port labeled COM, C-O-M, and then it will show up in Windows. Okay, we are plugged into our COM port. Device manager should automatically figure out what this thing is. Right click on my computer, select manage, click on device manager, click on ports, and we've got a USB serial port COM4. Inside of TerraTerm, we're gonna do setup serial port COM4. We gotta pick 115200. This is not the default setting. The rest of these are all fine. So we say new open, and we're now connected to COM4. 
we need to do something special on the radio in order to get this to boot up into firmware mode. You need to hold in the volume knob and then press the power knob. Hold the power knob until the green light comes off. You can let go of the volume knob. And it pops right up and says, welcome to the Zygu bootloader. I'm gonna press one to continue. It's gonna start erasing the firmware that's already on the radio. So your firmware, your firmware. So your radio will be blank at this point. Now it says waiting for the files. Let's go to file and we're gonna choose transfer. We're gonna use X modem. We're gonna choose send. And then I just need to pick that firmware file and hit open and it'll start transferring. And once it's done, the radio asks you to disconnect the power cable and connect it later. So I'm gonna disconnect the power cable. The front panel buttons don't do anything anymore. Nothing. So there goes the power for the radio. And we plug it back in. And turn it back on. And everything is okay. Let's go in and take a look at the version of the firmware. So we hit any one of the front panel keys. We rotate the dial over until we see ver at the end. We press ver, version 1.2, September 20th, 2022. Press any key to exit. And you are good to go with the latest version of the firmware. One thing I want to show you real quick inside of TerraTerm is if you bring it up and it is not in English, go into setup, we go into general, and you want to change the language from Japanese to English. So that is all it takes to upgrade the firmware on the Zygu G106. There will be another video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.